19 years ago, I was diagnosed with a disease called multiple sclerosis, uh, also known as MS. Uh, at the time, I was uh, young, full of enthusiasm, uh, and of course, filming the Gone Fishing series. Uh, we were in Fiordland, and I was fighting a bluefin tuna. And when I got out of the game chair, my leg collapsed. And uh, later in the day, it collapsed again. And then uh, a couple of days later, I was diving and grabbing crayfish, and I had no grip strength. I thought, pinched a nerve, I thought, pinched a nerve. So I went and had some tests done and the result was that I had uh, multiple sclerosis. It's not a diagnosis that you want to hear. Uh, the prognosis long term is not great, uh, but my attitude has always been uh, never give up. Uh, set challenges, set goals, and uh, just ensure that you embrace life uh, with every bit of enthusiasm you possibly can. Uh, but every now and again in relation to this disease, uh, inspiring people turn up, and I'm with one now. Uh, there is uh, a vessel sailing the world uh, called Oceans of Hope, and uh, this vessel will bring hope, not just to MS sufferers, but also will create an awareness of the disease, uh, and I think uh, will inspire many, many people such as myself. So Michael, what was the motivation for Oceans of Hope? Well, Graham, it actually, when you tell your story, uh, it's, it's, it's pretty much the same story. Uh, I was, I'm working like a, as a medical doctor in the University Hospital in Copenhagen, Denmark, and I'm also a sailor. One of my uh, patients, a guy, came to me in his mid-50s, uh, and he was sitting absolutely devastated because he's built his own boat as a blacksmith to sail around the world and now he was contracted with MS and he was walking badly, so he thought that his dreams were, were scattered. And that's when it just burst out of me that you have to go sailing again. And that moment I knew that I had to combine my skills as a doctor and a sailor and I was going to sail around the world with people uh, living with MS as, um, as the crew. Så er jorden rundt med mennesker ret, man skal rose. Så er der ikke rigtig nogen vej tilbage. Jeg er ikke et sekund i tvivl, da jeg har fået den idé, ligesom sådan en... Så vi står faktisk foran og skulle over Atlanterhavet. Der kommer en, et stormsystem op her fra Karibien. Kom nu, kom nu, vi skal have den her til at køre midt til syv. Nu må aldrig stå mindre end syv der. Så er jeg fået uden mig to andre professionelle sejlere, og så er der derudover øh, fem såkaldt sklerosebesætningsmedlemmer. Jeg var over Atlanterhavet, altså selve tanken, eller sætningen lyder for mig stadigvæk lidt absurd. <laughs> det er jo ikke nogen badeferie, vi skulle på den måde, så, så det bliver rigtig, rigtig hårdt. Det er der ingen tvivl om. Sklerosen har jo helt til primært betyder en masse tab i forbindelse med mange ting. På den her måde kommer Slåsen også til at være årsag til den formentlig med livs største bedrift. At all times we have the five or six uh, MS crew, as we call them, on the boat. And they are sailing the boat. We have a professional crew too of uh, three people, because you have to, well, you have to run a boat like that. The, uh, the MS crew are on the boat for two to six weeks at, at a time, sort of a relay. People from all kinds of uh, places, different countries, like also people from New Zealand and Australia will take part. And they can apply on our website, uh, that, that is uh, www.sailingsclerosis.org. Uh, there you can see how to, uh, to get on the boat, but actually the criteria are pretty uh, large. So uh, if there's anybody sitting out there, I think I would, with MS and has a sailor inside of them, I would recommend them to go have a look. And, and what's the feedback been? And what have, what have you seen by way of a result? Well, not everybody uh, are as strong as I think that you are, Graham, and able to uh, take up the challenges like you've done and, and just do things. Uh, too many people, uh, when they get this diagnosis, they get into a state of fear and depression, which, which when, when people they get into to get in that pit hole, you, you need to give them a hand. And to many people, there's also uh, shame related with having a uh, being a, having a disease. Of course, that's absolutely irrational and not right, but that's just what happens. So what we see in the boat is because sailing around the world is a pretty strong thing. We're going to cross the Tasmanian Sea soon, and you know what it's like this part of this time of year. Yeah. 
So uh, combining this strong thing about sailing around the world with something like MS, which people they normally re reflect as something being weak, that's when magic appears. And people they tell me and tell us that they feel they sort of recapture their loss of identity. They feel that they uh, uh, they get the pride of what we're doing and they start daring to dream and look forward to take up other challenges and they sort of create the hope around the meaning of things that yes okay. I had a good day today I had a good sale and I tomorrow have a good be a life good, to live and tomorrow will be a good day too fantastic mm. what I can't understand is why in the city of sales Auckland and in a country like New Zealand where there are perhaps more sailors per capita than anywhere else in the world why we don't have an oceans of hope. I mean, multiple sclerosis is one thing, uh, a disease that is debilitating, uh, but, but these voyages keep, give people not only hope, but they create awareness. And we can make this work not only for MS, but for other diseases and other people who have similar afflictions. And I think we bloody well should. Uh, we've just had uh, the government decline to invest in the America's Cup. Uh, maybe we can convince them to invest uh, in oceans of hope. NZ. So I'm going to keep in touch with Mikkel and I thought I'd send him away with just a little taste of New Zealand uh, appropriate for the voyage. Uh, backcountry cuisine, if you haven't seen this stuff it's great because it's all dehydrated food and uh, it is delicious. Look at this, roast chicken, roast lamb and vegetables which is very kiwi. So Mikkel I'm going to give you this box and in amongst it too, um, from the freeze-dried bait company, uh, dangle a line as you cross the Tasman, if you go slow enough, because you may be able to supplement the larder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay in touch about Oceans of Hope NZ. Fishing and sailing, the best possible therapy. Got to be amongst it. <laughs>